we're gonna show you how we're gonna change a fuser unit is what plastic sleeve right yeah we can start there okay so um let me start with the side where the gears are mm -hmm. um you notice this that clip at the top i'm gonna pull that out mm -hmm. and that takes out these gears Whoa. just like that right great and you want to pull this thing out as well mm. now this one is attached <coughs> on the other side mm. that mm. with this metal in between so you want to take it out carefully whilst holding down there Okay. Yeah. And then that well, whole thing it's goes gone out. out. And then you've got two screws at the top, that and that. So you want to take these out. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm going to bring his screwdriver. Now these screws are a little bit hard to remove because mm. there's always so much heat mm. on this unit so they get stuck. They expand. Yeah, okay. So after that, uh, there's these little bracket uh, uh. holders on there. So you want to lift whilst pushing it that way. Uh. So you want to lift it whilst pushing uh. like that. Great. So look how dirty it is. And there you go. You can remove the two clamps. Uh -huh. For the heater roller. Mm -hmm. And there we now have access to our fusing sleeve. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is you want to take out the top part only. Mm -hmm. You're not interested in everything else. So the easiest way to do that is to disconnect this part here, which is the thermistor um, that goes to the fusing unit. So you want to disconnect that by lifting up this part. Now on this side, there's a connector here. Um, you just wanna pull that out and disconnect it. And then we can connect it back later on once we're done. Pull back the brown mm -hmm. clip. That. Now remember, this one only has one pin on the inside, and this one has two pins on the inside. So we can lift it up. This has two, that one has one, mm -hmm. and let's make sure that all of this can come out.
try to take it out. Is my flat? Flat. It's not that on you. Where's my stuff? He's looking for his flat. Okay, got it. Oh, I forgot one important piece of. <laughs> so this put, put it put it back here. Okay, put it back here. I'm running here. Yes. So you want to also take out this cover uh -huh. uh, with using the flat screwdriver. It only has that point there that you want to pull out. So just pull it back like so, uh -huh. and then you can take it out. I wonder why it was taking me so much time. Uh -huh. And then it just lifts up. Now. You don't want to take everything apart uh -huh. because you might run the risk of, you know, ruining something. So the easiest way is to take out this side where uh -huh. you have the blue and purple connectors. So you just want to fold that out. Done. Yeah. And place it onto the side and then slide the sleeve out just like so. Well. But as you do so, you want to be careful about the lamp here so I'm just going to use a normal tissue ideally you want to put some fusing oil here so that it doesn't get too damaged and you just want to roughly wipe it you want to clean it out all the way so because you will finish the oil and I'm just using this one for the purpose of the video, mm. but you can buy brand new sleeves for yourself and then you can put them in your machine. Sure. Now once that's back on there, you want to put the clip back on. Now we want to remember that the cable goes under and then over like that. Huh? Okay. Now once that's in place, can put it back in. Just as you found it. There you go. Now remember we only have one pin here. I'm slide that in as we slide it down. You can push it a bit that side. Okay. A bit that side. I think guys this is enough reassem boring this stuff i think shouldn't be much of issue because you've seen how he did put out that so you're gonna just reverse engineer that after doing that i don't think it's gonna be issue much major issue Yeah, guys, I th hope that helps. And uh, I wanted to conclude the video because you've seen how to change it. Then you're gonna, once you finish removing, you're gonna put everything back as it was. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video.